What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. If you're looking for a premium charger to keep your car battery topped off, you might want to check out this. Hey, I just picked this up. It's by SeaTech. It's not my first SeaTech battery charger, but this one um, is one I don't have. And I was looking for something that wouldn't break the bank, but also would give me kind of the high quality and, you know, confidence that I've gotten out of my other SeaTech chargers. Now this one, as you can see here, it's an MXS. 5.0 battery charger so unboxing it here this is what you get you do get a little nylon pouch if you want to store the thing it has a drawstring on it uh, for me i'll be using it and then we get a bunch of cables and cords first of all we get a inline fuse here with the pigtails that go to your battery you can put these on the terminals directly then you have a little capped plug right here uh, these are great and i absolutely use these all the time because it's really nice to be able to have a do quick disconnect on your battery now for some batteries, you can't do that, and that's why you get this. Uh, you get the alligator clip, so you can put it directly on your battery, inline fuse there as well, and then you also have the quick disconnect here. But sometimes the battery is exposed, and you don't want you know, the pigtails installed and hanging off. Uh, my Plymouth Prowler is a perfect example. I don't use them on that. I use alligator clips. Now, we also have the charger, and the thing that's unique about this charger is the fact that it has a little bit more limited functionality. Now that's not to say that it's not a capable charger. You can see here we have a pretty long cable and that it's quick disconnect over there. And then we have a pretty long power cable to prong cord on that end. And then on the front here, we have the mode button and that'll allow you to cycle through these modes down here. We have the power right there, as well as the fault or the some sort of alert but, uh, light right there. But what you get is motorcycle or vehicle, I think six and 12 volts, AGM for AGM style batteries. I think that is what they call Optima or Odyssey brand. And then we have recondition right there. Now, right up here is where we have some of the phases that it goes through. So you might see these lit up at different times. And when it's up here, that's great. It means your battery is usually fully charged everything's looking good but especially if it's going through reconditioning some of these are desulfation soft start bulk absorption analyze recondition float and pulse and so it won't be abnormal to see these lit up for a while and then you'll check on it and it's back up here or whatnot but it's just nice that it has kind of this logic that it looks at you know the condition of the battery now the difference between this one and the other one i had which i believe was the 4.3 mus is that this doesn't check the electrical system it just watches and maintains the battery which is good and it's pretty much 99 percent of what most people like us want but if you do want the mus or the 4.3 that will kind of main manage and monitor the whole entire electrical system that's going to be a different one but uh, because this one doesn't have that feature it is actually 20 or 30 bucks cheaper than the other one which is really nice i mean they're still pretty expensive they're like an 80 or 90 dollar charger so uh let's go plug it in and see if it works so i've got the charger plugged into the wall i've got my pigtail set up here to my battery and i'm just going to go ahead and plug the charger in all right connected and there we have the lights lit up the mode is on car which is nice i didn't even change that but you can see the first two lights oh now the first three of that process the conditioning process are all lit up so this thing definitely seems to be working and over time these should progressively get up to here so i'm pretty confident about this thing working had a lot of luck with ctex in the past if you want to pick this up i'll put a link to it in the description below peter from panda out